Welcome back to Bossman Sports Cards. It's a mailbox Monday. I'm going to try to fight through this. If you can't tell, my voice is a little bit scratchy, a little bit heavy, but that's all right. Because we've got a mailbox Monday and I've missed doing videos. So I'm going to push through this and we're going to have some fun. I've got something from Tops. I believe I know what it is. I've got something from Great Scott Collectibles here in the Central Valley of California. Yeah, mailbox for Scott, a mailbox for me. Let's see what we got. All right. Well, I have missed uh, chatting with you guys in these last couple of weeks. Uh, lots going on. But nothing card re Well, I can't say that. Some card-related stuff. Some not card-related stuff. <laughs> All right. Before we get to our Mailbox Monday, go over to www.biceballcards.com and get into our random team break this Wednesday. We're doing 10 2023 Update Blasters. And two holiday 2022 blasters. Yeah, $15 shipped. Yes, $15 shipped. If you get more than one, I don't remember what the discount is, but the, the cost goes down as you buy more. So if, you've, if you want to get five slots, it's going to be less per slot. Okay, so go on over, check it out. By www.biceballcards.com. Go over to the store, buy up some slots for our break. It's going to be pretty cool. I think we're doing it in a team clubhouse. <laughs> it's going to be fun. All right. On to Mailbox Monday. There we go. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Let's see what this looks like. So at the end of the season, I had several uh, home run challenge cards to go through. Apparently only one of them scored. I mean, some of them, the guys got hurt at the end of the season or well, for whatever reason. Woo! Nice presentation. Nice jewel box. It's purple. I like it. Purple and black, good Colorado Rocky colors, but it's one Carlos Stanton. So, um, there we go. Number 77 of 184. Now, I've been seeing on uh, Facebook and other online sites that people are still waiting for theirs. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Mine was August. I predicted in August that he would hit a home run. Uh, it does not say exactly specifically which day, um, but it, yep, it was in August. So crush number 70 or crash number crash. I don't know. Crash number 77 <laughs> out of 184. Nice. So there we go. Excellent. Thank you very much, Tops. Uh, it's my first time actually getting one right in the last three years that they've been doing this. So that's exciting, or that I've actually participated. Now, this one comes to us from Great Scott Collectibles uh, here in, uh, or up in Sacramento. And he's had this for a long time. And he wanted me to open it up. Looks like the Staples have actually already opened a bit. And uh, see what we got inside. Ooh, loose, loose cards. That's what we got. Okay. All right. So loose cards. I That's, once again, if all the cards are in perfect 10 condition, 10s aren't worth anything. But this is cool. Quaker Chewy Granola Bar baseball cards from Tops. Cal Ripken here on the front, number 31 of 33. So they are not in numerical order, so that's cool, I guess. 
<laughs> Steve Garvey of the Padres now running for uh, state senate. That'll be interesting. Phil Necro. Okay. So this is chalked with, you know, superstars and Hall of Famers. Tim Rock Reigns. So on the back, Quaker Chewy Granola Bar. That's the sponsor of the first annual Collector's Edition. This is from 1986, this set. So very cool. Very cool. Tim Reigns. All right. Led National League in stolen bases with 71 in 1981. 78 and 82, 90 and 83, and 75 and 84. Wow. With 70 bases, uh, 70 stolen bases in 1985, he became the first major leaguer uh, in history to steal 70 or more in five consecutive seasons. Now, he's not the only one, but he was the first. Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer Dave Winfield. Nice. Yeesh, look at all those lead leagues, AL playoffs. That's crazy. There's so much here to go through about Dave Winfield that they don't even have room, a room to uh, mention that he was drafted in the NFL, NBA, and Major League Baseball. That's how great Dave Winfield was. Can't even mention how great he was. <laughs> Ah, Fernando Venezuela, Van Valenzuela. Apparently, I have said it wrong in the past, and yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Fernando Mania, you can't get enough of it. Dan Quisenberry, card number twenty nine of thirty three, World Series champ. You know, uh, one of the best uh, closers. Before it was really a thing. Dale Murphy and Don Mattingly right next to each other. Two of the guys that every year the Hall of Fame votes come around. They're always mentioned as should be Hall of Famers. Maybe. Maybe someday in the Veterans Committee. I don't know. Eddie Murray, he is a Hall of Famer. With the Baltimore Orioles, one of the better or best switch hitters of all time. Nice. 1977 Rookie of the Year. I did not know that. All right. Daryl Strawberry of the New York Mets. They won their series. Yeah. Good ball player. Uh, what could have been. Injuries took the last couple of years. Ricky Henderson, Mike Schmidt. Speaking of should-be Hall of Famers, Pete Rose. Uh, Ricky Henderson, I mean, speedster extraordinaire. Mike Schmidt, one of the best hitting third basemen of all time. Pete Rose, the all-time hits leader. Yeah. Uh, you can have whatever you want to say about him. Pete Rose, all-time hits leader. Uh, I mean, the 80s were chalked with superstars. Just look at this set. George Brett. Ozzy Smith, Jim Rice, Reggie Jackson, Wade Boggs, Gary Cart. Oh my goodness, this thing is just chocked with so many Hall of Famers. Nolan Ryan. Vince Coleman to me is one of the most underrated, underrated ball players of all time. The speedster, uh, leadoff hitter, extraordinaire. Rookie of the year 1985. Um yeah. One of the most underrated ball players, I think. Dwight Gooden, Ozzie Gian, Brett Saberhagen, Burt Bly Levin. Sheesh, great ball players. Jack Clark, Tom Seaver, Ryan Sandberg. This was what, his third year in the league? Selected as the NL MVP in 1984. Nice. All right, Daryl Evans, Dave Parker, Willie McGee, and oh, well, I mean, arguably one of the top three hitters of all time, one of the guys that revolutionized using uh, TV and VCR for scouting, um, He has less strikeouts in his career than most ball players have in a season. Just Tony Gwynn, good grief. Um, yeah, there's memes about 
how many pitchers couldn't strike him out in their Hall of Fame careers. Wow. So there you go. Quaker Chewy Granola Bar Tops set. <laughs> the first annual collector's edition, 1986. That's cool to me. I, I think that's cool. Um, I grew up in this era when stuff like this, you had the Kmart set, you had the uh, Circle K sets, you had the Quaker Chewy Granola Bars, Mother's Cookies. There was a lot of fun back then. A lot of little insert sets like this. You didn't have to, you know, buy a whole case of uh, hobby or jumbo boxes to be able to finish a set. You literally just ordered a whole set. Eh, take it for what you want. I think this is cool. I like what they've done with the home run challenge. Of course, I say that because I actually won. I actually got it right. <laughs> so there we go. Mailbox Monday brought to you by Home Run Challenge and Great Scott Collectibles in the Sacramento area bringing us what is that? Uh, 38 years ago, mail. That, hey, it could have been a throwback Thursday. It could have been a flashback Friday, but we brought it to you as a mailbox Monday. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Um, we've got some stuff coming up. <sighs> Tomorrow is Basketball Tuesday. Yeah. Hey, and while I'm talking to you, if you're still looking to get into some breaks and have some fun, we're doing a break this Wednesday. It's in three days. Two days, kind of. We're doing between myself and BiceballCards.com, Brian. We're doing a 10 Blaster 2023 update and two 2022 holiday boxes. We're doing those breaks. It's 15 bucks with shipping. Random team. Yeah. So head on over to www.biceballcards.com and get into the break. Get a spot. Get two spots. Get three spots. Four, five, whatever. It's $15 with shipping. Uh, get multiple spots. There's discounts. Because, I mean, shipping is sh is shipping. All right. Yeah. So take a look at that. Go over to www.biceballcards.com. Get in on the break this Wednesday. I can't tell you where we're going to be doing it at yet because it's not 100% confirmed, but it we're trying to get into a minor league team clubhouse to do it. It's going to be pretty cool. All right. Well, hey, have a great one. I'll see you tomorrow. Basketball Tuesday. Boss Man here. Boss Man Sports Cards. Boss man, ow.